This is a Catit Pixie Spinner. For a cat toy, it looks pretty awesome, and it has some smart features that should keep your cats entertained whilst you're away. But does it? Let's see what our cats think. So in short, yes, our cats like it, but wait, hold on, don't go and buy it just yet. There's a few drawbacks that's worth discussing first. I'll take you through what we like. Seriously, why are there not more toys that employ a more modern design? What we dislike reminds me of those creepy Britney Spears dancing videos. And at the end, we'll give it a score to see where it ends on our toy comparison chart. All right, enough of that, let's get into it. Do your cat toys look like this? Horrendous, aren't they? Well, breaking this trend is the Catit Pixie Spinner. It takes a new approach, applying a touch of minimalism and a modern design, which blends perfectly with our home decor. We got ours in white and blue, although there's a white and gray version. Honestly, why all cat toys seem to have to stick out like sore thumbs is seriously beyond me. Just look at our cat toy box. The main element to the toy is the spinner, which thankfully can be detached from the base and replaced if needed, although replacements do need to be purchased from Catit, but at least there's an option, I guess. Personally, I would have loved to have been able to add my own attachment to the spinner. Like, how cool would it have been to attach a spring or a finger trap to the end, allow me to personalize the toy to my cats? I mean, the toy comes with two attachments. Couldn't have one have given me slightly different functionality? Around the side is the blue fabric mesh, which covers a cute LED light. As you'd expect, our boy's claws grip into the surface, which is awesome for play, but it also leaves pull marks, which ruins the aesthetics. One unique aspect of the toy is the built-in treat compartment. Twisting the bottom half reveals a weighted bottom and a small area for treats or kibble. Like those creepy classic clown punch bags, the weight keeps the toy upright even during the most enthusiastic of cat attacks, and the movement leads to treats popping out. It kind of looks like it's pooing itself though. I know, it's strange. Anyway, the treat tray is fairly small and over time your cats will level up, emptying it faster and faster, reducing its effectiveness. Personally, I'd go with a kibble though rather than treats, but each to their own, I guess. A quick reminder though to like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Your support makes a massive difference to small content creators like us. In the tray is also a battery compartment for three AAAs and an on-off switch. One cool feature is the toy automatically wakes once nudged, helping to save battery life. Until then though, it just sits there like a dejected child or a plant that was never watered. Once nudged though, off it goes. In a strange way, it kind of reminds me of those creepy Britney Spears dancing videos. Okay, on to three things we don't like about the toy. Ours has worked fine, although customer reviews online have noted durability concerns, so your mileage may vary. The treat tray feels a bit gimmicky, the treats pop out too easily, and it doesn't hold enough. I don't know, maybe I'm expecting too much, but this seems a bit too simple, at least compared to other puzzle toys we've reviewed. Three, it doesn't really hold our cat's interest for long, and because it only turns on when nudged, most of the time it just sits there pretty lifeless. It would have been really cool to have additional functionality, like a nap, or at least a timer to trigger the toy at certain predefined times. Equally, if it had more movement or potentially even a vibration motor, I think our boys would have played a bit more, although I appreciate this would have required additional batteries. But if I had to choose between a toy that needs to be recharged more often or one that's not played with at all, I know which one I'd pick. Here are three things that we love about the toy. One, the weighted base alongside the rotating spinner is a pretty cool idea and stops us having to put it up each time, although it does come unstuck on long rugs. Two, I said it earlier, but I love the design. Seriously, why are there not more toys that employ a more modern design? Three, during max spin, it's pretty quiet, so it never disturbs us, even when we're working from home. Okay, let's score this toy and see how it compares on our toy comparison list. So, for style, I love it. Although the pools are annoying, and in hindsight, I would have preferred the grey version, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. For engagement, once playing and with treats, our cats stay engaged, although not as long as I'd hoped, and quite often we'll see them switch and play with other toys on our list. 7 out of 10. Quality. Personally, we've had no issues aside from pools, but your mileage may vary, so it gets an 8 out of 10. For safety, no concerns from us, although if you have a cat that likes chewing things, you might want to watch them with the spinny cloth material. It gets a 9 out of 10. For attraction, the toy doesn't attract our cats. We need to put it in front of them, or at least we need to put it in the middle of a hallway or a kitchen, so it gets a 4 out of 10. For cleanliness, the fabric sides and the spinner do pick up dirt pretty easily and will need cleaning. Equally, the treat tray can be a bit of a pain to clean, so it gets a 5 out of 10. This gives the Catit Pixie Spinner a score of 41 out of 60, positioning it well in our chart. 
although our cats wouldn't choose it as their favourite toy, it does okay and it gets a lot of other things right. Honestly, if Catit can solve the attraction problem, maybe by bringing catnip to the mix or getting it to do something more spontaneous, it might replace springs at the top of our list. What do you think? If you own this toy, let me know your experience. I'd be keen to hear if you had any quality related concerns. So if you've not bought this toy before, should you buy it? save it for later or simply ignore it well it's a solid performer but given the cost of performance i'd say save it for later and wait to see whether the durability concerns get solved youtube thinks you'll like this video here alternatively here's a link to our last video thanks for watching and see you soon